Yeah, that's a huge one. That's probably the number one thing we encounter with customers is, oh, we know Kubernetes, but they, find, they don't actually understand stateful Kubernetes and how that's different from the stateless applications they, they use. Uh, the number one thing I would say is just stronger comfortability with using operators. We've had customers who just originally straight up turned us down when we talked about, oh, we could use an operator for using this. And they were like, oh, we don't trust operators. They're dangerous. Uh, I've experienced with them you know, taking down clusters. Some of our customers run massive clusters where uh, we have a bad tenant, like you know, an operator that could you know, overwhelm their API server, something like that. So they just borderline don't allow operators. So I feel like if we operators came to a point where they were more stable, more accepted, then first of all, it'd make it easier for us because our on-prem our on product would be easier to deploy. We could leverage you know, all the awesome things that operators allow us to do, you know, automating things for customers. Um, yeah, I think just making operators easier, a standardization of them would be huge.